The UK MT have just released the results for the Intermediate Maths Challenge 2022. I know a lot of you have been waiting for them, so I wanted to give you a quick update on those right away. To get a gold certificate, you needed 81 points, a silver was 65, and a bronze for anyone who got 50 or higher. Now remember, the questions 1 to 15 are worth 5 marks, and you can lose marks later on in the paper, but the uh, 16 to 25, if you get them right, are worth 6 marks, so a score of 81 for a gold is, a, is essentially getting 1 to 15 right, that gives you 75 marks, and just one extra question from questions 16 to 25, or maybe you missed a couple of early ones and got some later ones, and then uh, silver would be a 13 out of 15 uh, in questions 1 to 15, and a bronze 10 out of 15 uh, in questions 1 to 15, so that's roughly how well you'd have to do. I've put a lot more detail about how the scoring works and how the follow-on rounds work in another video, so do check that out if you want to know that more precisely. Speaking of the follow-on rounds, uh, to qualify for the uh, Grey Kangaroo, you needed 65, which is just getting a silver certificate, that's the one for years year 9, and for uh, 81 marks or gold certificate you also qualify for the pink kangaroo uh, and that's the one you have to meet if you're in years 10 and 11. And for the Kayleigh Hamilton and McLaurin Olympiad rounds, uh, scores of 101, 111 and 117 respectively were needed to qualify for those rounds. Again, more information about what all of that means if you don't know already in the other video. Now I know a lot of you have already tried my uh, free preparation course, Get Ready for the Intermediate Maths Challenge, and if you have qualified for the follow-on rounds, I've made one Get Ready for the Grey Kangaroo as well, where you can practice uh, a previous paper uh, with full video hints and solutions, so that's perfect if you're preparing for the Grey Kangaroo in Year 9, but the questions are very similar for the Pink Kangaroo to be honest, so um, you can use it to prepare for the Pink Kangaroo, and even if you're doing the Olympiad rounds it could be uh, of some use to you there uh, as well I think, so do go and check that out, I'll put a link in the description below of course. So let's just take a quick look at how that compares to previous years. You can see this page on the Mathsaurus website. I've collected the grey boundaries for some previous years. Uh, so uh, broadly uh, in line, there is a change this year uh, to how they do the certificates. So it used to be that they gave 40% of people uh, bronze, silver and gold certificates in the ratio uh, 3 to 2 to 1. And this year they're actually giving 50% of people those certificates in the same ratio. Uh, so 50% so, uh, so of people get certificates and then one sixth get gold. Uh, out of those 50% and two sixths or a third gets silver and three sixths or a half gets bronze out of those. Um, so you can see here that has brought the boundaries just slightly down from the last uh, couple of years um, and perhaps they've gone up uh, for various reasons in 2020 and 2021 but they've come back down sort of to where they were before now. Only a slight reduction overall, overall compared to last year though, you know, 55 down to 50, 68 down to 65, 86 down to 81. It looks like they are now pegging the grey and pink kangaroo uh, to the silver and gold uh, boundaries and the Kaylee Hamilton and McLaurin uh, boundaries have stayed uh, more or less uh, unchanged. So well done if you did get a certificate you might have to wait a few days for your score to confirm your scores before you really know for sure. Um, of course the main thing for the maths challenges is to enjoy the problems and to learn something as you're going along so if you haven't got a certificate this year perhaps you'll will do next year. Um, it's nice to get those but by no means the main reason we should be doing those uh, maths competitions. If you did uh, take a look at my free preparation course, get ready for the intermediate math challenge, or even uh, took the upgraded go for gold in math challenges, uh, age 13 to 16. I really hope that was useful. I'd love to hear uh, what you thought of those. Uh, put a note in the comment below uh, if you use those. And do check out the kangaroo course, uh, as I mentioned, if you've qualified for that round. Again, totally free uh, to practice uh, the paper there. And that go for gold upgrade course is also a great preparation for the kangaroo papers. Uh, loads more courses over at the Mathsaurus website for the Maths Challenges at every level, one for the Senior Maths Challenge there when you get to it as well, and for those of you thinking about doing A-level maths in the future or coming towards the end of GCSE, take a look at the uh, course uh, Get Ready for A-level Maths. It's actually five smaller courses where you can uh, look at some topics that are really useful for the uh, getting to those top grades at GCSE and getting ready for uh, the start of A-level. All the teaching videos in those courses are free, and there's just an upgrade for the worksheets with the solutions. Uh, if you want to. Uh, but uh, that's enough for this video, so I uh, really hope you enjoyed the Intermediate Maths Challenge this year, and uh, if you've done well, uh, well done, and I uh, really hope I'll see you uh, in another video sometime soon or over at one of the online courses. Please do like this video, uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, it does really help me, and uh, good luck with all of your studies in maths.